Hi guys, uh, my name is Nick and I've got my friend Jones and we did the 2023 JMSS entrance exam into year 10 just recently and we would like to explain to you the science format of the exam and help you guys with resources on what you should maybe learn about and uh, this is also mainly because the maths part of the exam you'll find many resources online and the science part of the exam you may not so hey I'm Jones and the complexity of the test is pretty average though you only get 30 questions and only 30 minutes to solve it but I think if with the resources you'll be able to learn it efficiently so let's get started. Nick, what questions do you have for me? Um, I, we, uh, during the exam, we had probably around three to four questions about the photosynthesis and how plants work with creating glucose. And h how did you go with those questions? I think I did pretty well with them. There were two, um, two tests which were the written tests and those two written tests were on photosynthesis but there was one numerical sorry um science reasoning test which gave us a little bit of trouble but with photosynthesis all you need to know is cellular respiration and the equation for photosynthesis and maybe how adp to atp conversion works so you should know Glucose, uh, sorry, like um, water plus uh, um, carbon dioxide plus 38 ATP should make glucose and oxygen. Yeah, I think, uh, Jones, you were spot on with that. Uh, now we're going to be moving on to the next topic, which is reactions, uh, specifically exothermic reactions, endothermic reactions, and how to balance equations. Um, I think you can find the necessary details about that on Google, but if you really want a very basic uh, overview of them, you can, let's just, Jones, what do you think? Yeah, well, exothermic means to um, um, release energy, so um, chemical reactions that release energy, and endothermic means chemical reactions which absorb energy and take in heat. So. And a, an example of this could be endothermic reaction is a is photosynthesis while exothermic is cellular respiration as photosynthesis is energy capture and e uh, cellular respiration is exothermic energy release for balancing equations it's a little harder to explain but we can go in depth in another video While the exam might be really hard, there are, there are some questions which may be easy, but they tr try to trick you. So, like they they'll ask you what is what is graphite like if it's what what what's it made out like like it might be on a periodic table that says G R G E the different elements, but most people will pick G R or G E as the elements. But some people actually know that graphite is carbon, and they'll pick C on the periodic table. So that's a question you should look out for. Uh, another question that popped up under the exam was how they, they gave us a, a picture of graphite, and they said, what is the molar mass of gravi graphite with, the, uh, with providing us a picture of the element, uh, periodic table and... They also provided us with the uh, like how to find um, the equation of molar mass. So all we had to do was use our brains to figure out that graphite is made up of carbon uh, atoms, and you can use that to substitute the mass of the carbon atoms with the equation to calculate its molar mass. There are some questions that there are about like electron configuration, so it's going to ask you. What is the like valence, like how much electrons are in the valence shell? So valence shell just means how much electrons are in the last shell of the um, atom configuration. So yeah, you basically need to know the different biomes and like 
there's tundra, there's desert, and how they sustain life and what type of life they sustain. Like the different animals in the habitats and the di different biomes. And also the Charles Darwin theory of adaptation where um, like it'll just through genetics and how shall 